Quart, me and Dawn aren't going to have a formal wedding. Oh, just leave it out. We're going to have a little celebration of unity with our friends. I know. So, just run this lock past me again. Look, do you think I'm happy, eh? Do I look happy? Do we have to have cane, man? It's a bit biblical. I thought it was going to be all candles and holding hands like a John Baez concert. Yeah, well, Dawn's parents aren't into John Baez. What are they into? Golf clubs, OK? Rotary clubs, the Conservative Party, in a very big way they're into. They're also hoping the daughter's wedding will get into the society pages of Lancashire Living. Hey, what's Lancashire Living? It's a magazine for the social elite of the North West, Lordy. You probably won't have seen it. It's not on the same shelf as Mammoth Hooters. I am not familiar with that publication. Do it in the norms again. It was good with all of them watching eh? It was like Snow White's wedding night. Mrs. Roddick catches us with. Oh, stuff old Rosa Cleb. She wouldn't know what we were doing anyway. She never had sex in her life. <sighs> oh, listen. Listen, what we're gonna do? You know, it's Pete's last drill night this week. More tragedy. It's Hodge. You haven't thought, have you? When Pete Paulson leaves Roker Bridge, little sister's homeless. I'm on that midnight train to Workington. Well, I can't have that, can I? Can't lose both me top girls. Your goddaughter's not emigrating for months, Hodge. I'm talking about me going at the end of this week. Yeah, what will the norms have to look at then? <laughs> Anything I can get you? <coughs> if you want me, I shall be in the garden centre. As you leave the Roker Bridge live bed show, it's down there on the left. Sorry, Mrs. Ruddock. And I have had sex, Miss Paulson. In 1959, and it was fantastic. What the hell? Hiya. Just came to see how your new mechanic was settling in. You thought the view would come in handy one day, Ali? Uh, I'm still a bit rusty. Glad I didn't throw my textbooks away. Diesel's brother's old overalls fit then. What the hell is this? Hmm? Oh, forced on me, I'm afraid. Love to have kept the estate, but, uh, well, what's getting on a bit? You didn't tell us you were looking for a new car. No, well, you know, just, uh... What's all that for? That, that's, that's my marking. Yeah. Anyway. Don't you fit in boot? Boot's full. Anyway, are you... Is it? Uh, it is. He's got a pair of shoes in it. <laughs> Uh, look, I don't remember you getting grief when you bought a sports car. That's because I'm a tosser of the highest order, man. You're Spock. <laughs> don't. We had the sixth form leavers dinner the other night, and at the kind of jokey ceremony, you got awarded the paint drying trophy for the most boring teacher. So please, don't take the piss. Daisy, out of interest, just how much are these fat boy racing wheels? Hmm? the room here through a long bower of roses. For the last time, I do not want to walk in through a rose arch. Look, it's bad enough you told your mother you're being married in a registry office. It's bad enough that we had no notice to prepare. It's bad enough. Give it to me, eh? Well, what do you want to do, Dawn? Holding in some sordid pit like where we had lunch. Where it works is not a sordid pit. When that Liverpoolian Chinese man said I was eating roadkill, what did he mean? Oh, Mr. Wang's just joking. Uh, what is roadkill? Well, it, well, it, it, it's animals that have been run over by cars. Oh but my it, God. no, 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 no! It, it's a cult. You know, it, it, all the students from the college think he's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, they all come in to get insulted. Eric. 
I don't enjoy being insulted. Ah, you get used to it, big nose. <laughs> so the Rose Arch is going where? Mr. Gad, lady wants you at reception. Uh, yeah. Uh, right, one second. I mean, if this whole serving customers thing getting in the way, well, do let me know and I can set you up a small room with a divan and some Santana records. Junetta? Next week? No, no, not in November, you said. They pushed up Declan's contract. They can't wait to get their hands on him. It appears the arrival of a new plastic surgeon in California is somewhat akin to the arrival of a new French chef in Soho. Next week. Good day. So, what do I do now, Mr. Gad? You go. Please do reach a decision somewhat quicker than I did. Oh, that's because she... Uh, because, in my opinion, the benefits of, of moving your sapling far outweigh all the other concerns you might have. I... still... surprised to hear you're so happy for me to move it. Well, I'm not. But the climate it's moving to sounds far more beneficial for its long-term development. What was it you once told me? Having a daughter doesn't automatically make someone a father. Well, that... Yeah, that dead right. I'm being frank. It stacks up. I mean, Declan can offer love, stability, family, financial security. Hodge can offer love and a 40% discount on garden seeds. And you'd rather see her go? And think very carefully now, the other side of the world. You want that more? I want to see flowers, Janetta. I don't want her to be one of those bushes that can flower but never does because of where they got planted. Miss Poulson, unless it's been exposed to nuclear testing, I think we can assume that table is now clean. How about letting someone use it? I have come to clean your room, Mr. Bond. Bastard! probably the most tragic sight of the 20th century. Look at it, even the balloon knows it's lying. Didn't know they had Pepsi Max. Radical. <laughs> Great presents, eh? Box set of Dad's army. Balloon. Hey, great about you going back into regulars, eh, son? My dad was a sergeant, do you remember? When he retired, I always thought he'd do him good to see me, can he? I bet what he was. I mean, one strap would do me, but three, I mean, it's a real achievement, isn't it? There are no sergeant slots available, Eric. I'm going to have to go back in as a corporal. I'm going to lose my stripe. Another pint, eh? <laughs> it's a type of hair extension. Wink! <laughs> Shut up. He no, come on, it's a fair point. I mean, he probably can't see what he looks like in them. Contact lenses! <laughs> on next. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where's Mrs. Robinson? Mel? That you've been having an affair with. I saw you in the garden centre. I do not share. This is Roker Bridge, not the Punjab. I'm not prepared to be one in a line, following you around as doing a tea towel. I operate on a single gobstopper basis. I'm not prepared to be one of a handful of dolly mixtures. Just me, Mel. Me and Eric playing cricket 13 years ago. I was searching for someone to give to Kirsty. Well, there's no time to sell her for anymore. She's going Saturday, it's all changed. But what you saw was Janetta saying goodbye. 
I'm searching the archives for a photo of Roker Bridge, but there's nothing except this old bit of silly and this foul puce rosette with a red cross on for something I can't remember winning. Eric, they're not paying for it, they're buying it. <laughs> We're here to say goodbye to Sam Paulson, eh? They are buying our wedding off us for themselves. For some crap social bloody wanted to get into Lancashire living because all our friends' kids did. Yeah, but weddings are for other people as well. Knackers. Sorry? I wanted to get drunk at mine. I wanted to dance on the tables like all my mates are at theirs. No, no, no. Get drunk, you might spoil the video. Dance on the tables, you might break the sodding, frosted, sugar, pissing table flowers. I should have said no. I'm not having it all your way. I'm not having it all your pretentious, sodding way. But I didn't. Consequently, my wedding was a gateway to a five-year-long tunnel of howling misery. Come to ours, then. You know, if you didn't enjoy your wedding, come to ours. Come on, make it your last blast in Roger Bridge, yeah? I'll put you on the guest list, eh? Drinks? What the hell were you playing at? You know what you just did in there? Eric, why the hell is that? Oh, because I just thought you might prefer to even have some of our enemies rather than all your mum and dad's friends. Okay, okay Spock. See you then. I know you're laughing at me. I'm a teacher. I'm not stupid. <sighs> he says. Oh, it's crap, this. <sighs> what am I doing? Look, man, you can't change yourself like this. You can't stick pictures of a tiger and a duck and hope it'll scare people. That'd scare me. Can you? What, you mean pictures from magazines? I just wanted to teach, Deezy. I didn't want to turn into a teacher. Oh, no, that's too Pink Floyd, that. Walking around with pictures on you. I'll have nightmares about that. Will you shut up? It's about loosening up, isn't it? And it just doesn't sit with my... It's because you're going for the surface, Bocco. You've got to do it in here, man. Loosen your soul. It's not what you're seeing in. It's where you're seeing. Give her this rosette. Yeah, great. No, I'm serious. I want to give her some at the... Could only have come from you. When's she gone? Saturday. Oh. oh no no, it's okay. I'm cool now. I'm fine. I can give it her at the airport. You can't, babe. You can't see her off at the airport. <laughs> yeah, let me try stopping me. Is that you? You know the flight time. Why can't I see her off? Because on Saturday, you mate of twenty odd years is getting married, hon. Matron of Honour behind, yes? Lancashire Living Photographer will be here. Okay, then you all process to the top table. Club Alien in Bolton. Yeah. Six women go Friday night for their leaving due. Happening place, dread. Now, by this time, the parents will have done the receiving line and moved up. Uh, I'm, uh, oh, Eric. Sorry? Nah, me, me dad, he, 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 he... It's a bit difficult, this, but he doesn't say much, Mrs. Lomax, so receiving the lines... What? He doesn't speak at all? Even to guests? If they talk to him, he'll just stare. He won't stare, Mrs. Lomax. He just won't talk. Yes. Well... I'm sure the best man can get him to his chair beforehand. Trusting the best man can find time to turn up to the actual wedding. Mum, I've told you, Hodge has got something very important to do at work. He can only do today, rehearsal or no rehearsal. OK, now, you know you can live in America, right? There's a pool and Declan's going to build. There's a tree, so a tree house with a slide down into the pool. Yeah. Well. Big enough for him to go down it and me and Mum all together. Kirsty, listen to Hodge a minute. So, so round the pool there's a garden, okay? Now this is for that. Open your eyes. 
What is it? Now these, okay, are all seeds from things that grow around here. Like plants and flowers, yeah? And, and grasses that I've chosen and all mixed up. So that when you get to America, okay, what you've got to do is you've got to go into the garden and sow all these. And that means that in the middle of California, there'll be a little bit of Lancashire. Excuse me, I see you've got some new decoy errands in. In a minute, mate. No, 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 you might remember. I'm busy, about, mate. Just... Uh, about two years, I can't... Right, so you see, this is like Roka Bridge in a bag. And so, so whenever you look at it... No, I'm but... sorry, son, but I bought one of these, ooh, 18 months. No, no, tell a lie. Maybe two years okay, ago now. On, let's go over here. Right, so, all the strange grasses... Ah, there you are! Look, mate. No, I was saying, you remember the last one I got of these? It fell over and stabbed me golfing. Look, perhaps we better just go before the manager hears or... Isn't Hodge coming to the airport? It's the plastic in these beaks, you know, sort of less angular, you know, sort of less dangerous. Hodge can't wave you off, sweetheart. Less protuberant. Eric's getting married, you see. Sorry, babe. Less jabby. Look, do you want to find out? They're that bloody jabby, all right? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, look at him. He's oh, just an old friend of mine. Get off! Where's the He's manager? Fine. He's fine. Is there a problem? You stabbed me bloody chest! Mr. Gad! Look, we better just go. Mr. Gad! Look, in a minute! Look, no. Don't go yet! If you want to remain an employee. Why don't only play in, sweetheart? I the sex, but not the violence. Look, forget her! Don't be stupid, don't lose your job as well! Get in that office! Mrs. Ruddles! I'm so sorry. Get at her! Okay, well, it's only well, making things worse. Where's first aid? Tan away for first aid. Wave, Kirsty. You won't be seen, Hodge, for a very long time. First aid to the manager's office, please. Kirsty! Put that bloody thing down. I'll see you! It's my work shirt. Have a good journey! We'll be paid for that. You take care! But it's awful. You plant them seeds and, and you plant, you plant the seeds and there's something else to say. I've written down. I've got a pacemaker. I've got a pace. Oh no, no, that's my brother. Well, I'm sure Mr. Gad accidentally grazed. Yeah, accidentally bollocks. That word came right up. It was like Hitchcock. Mr. Gad. Something else. I can't remember. Never mind what you can't remember. What about my shirt? And what about the injury that I've just sustained? Mr. Gad. Mr. and Mrs. Lomax, or should I say, Mum and Dad? Can you pause for applause? Pause for applause. I'd like to think you're not as much losing a daughter as gaining a loser. Spark. Hey, Daisy man, Spock must have pulled at Club Alien. The socks in garden that must have come flying out at bedroom window. Spock! I don't want you to think of me as your son. And I don't want to think of you as my parents. Get in the shower, man. Oh, pay the taxi. Exactly what happened before you started noticing how blue the colour blue was? Pay the taxi. <sighs> pay the taxi. What happened at Club Alien, man? Oh. 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 They'll be all right, I'm sure. No, you heard what they were like about Dad. Hey, they haven't had four years to get used to it. Now, don't forget to give Odgie's present. Yes. Yeah. The Andrew sisters are here. Get off the glass spot one. I like it. It's cold. Well, it went badly. Forget it, Eric. Oh, did you say goodbye or no? I think I've got the word goodbye out, yeah. I think it came between the accusation of assault and my suspension from work. What? Does you're not get an actual moment of saying goodbye. Eric, forget faffing about other people. You're getting married, man. This is your day. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I do. Sorry. Bad little point in your life to be miles away, Eric. Almighty. 
Let's just get back to the hotel and start this properly. I need a gin and tonic. Eric, you all right? Eric, I said are you all right? I said it. I will be. Nice to see you looking good. How are you? Oh. Mr. and Mrs. Disney. Eric's parents. How are you? How are you? Eric, what the hell's going on? Why'd you come to the airport? Because I told him to and I'd go do it. What? Kirsty, go and do it properly. What go? Had we better phone? Nah, sod it. Bride's prerogative being a bit late. Yeah. Besides, the only guests you actually invited are all here anyway, aren't they? Yeah. Taken off yet. They're only Marge. I think they've been arrested. Oh God, let me see. You stop drinking pints of wine, Pete. People are looking. girl asked if we've been given anything to carry. Of course, she says yes. This friend of Mum's give us a bag of strange grass. <laughs> yeah, but it's not dope. It's grass grass. Like uh, Timothy grass. Sylvetica. It's a memento. Hey, um, Roker Bridge. That's what this is? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You stand more chance of getting in with marijuana. They're paranoid about crop disease, the Yanks. They don't even like bought packets of seeds coming in. So there's no way they'll allow undocumented ones through. You might as well let me bin it here, love, because they'll just bin it over there. Right. Well, I'll, I'll take it back then. Whatever. Better go say we're here before our seats go to standby. See you, Hodge. Yeah. What is all this, man? I mean, it's not just trying to stop yourself turning into a teacher, is it? Forget it, lady. Yeah, Hello. Yes, uh, this is the chauffeur speaking. Is Eric married now? Oh, it's kind of uh, an ongoing thing, really. Are you going to get married ever? Can't now, can I? Top girl's going away. We couldn't have. I thought about it. But you can't go out with people if you age younger. You just argue about what to watch on television. That's right. You have to forget what we had and get on with your life. 
Well, there'll be some arguing about television in America, sweetheart, because you're not watching any more soap operas. Well, that's what they say. Kirsty, in the real world, all they say is goodbye. No, no, before we go, can I show my plane? I'll just lift you up. It's like that, but it's got two rows of windows and somewhere in there there's a cinema. Can you see it? Show me again. It's like that, but it's a red one. Uh, oh, Mum, is it a stripy one? It's the one that's leaving, sugar. They won't die, will they? The seeds. Roger's well, very good at knowing what's best for plants, babe. OK. See you then. If you plant them now, by the time I come back, they'll be massive. By the time she comes back, she'll probably know all the Latin names. Probably stopping off to backpack round India with some baseball-playing college guy Do who... Eh? Yeah. Probably be able to tell the Latin names. And what about mine, Janetta? What are you going to be calling me? I mean, I know having a daughter doesn't automatically make someone a father, but... But the fact is, it gradually has with you, hasn't it? Put it this way, Mr. Gadd. If you never get married, then the next time you wear something like this, it'll be to give someone away. When you get down the ranks, you're getting into, you know, a bit pond life. What's <laughs> 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 Oh, it's just a puncture, Colin. They fold. They're all right. Just a puncture. This language is living guy can't stay all bloody afternoon. I'll go and get them. Hello. What's that man doing? Hello. Standing on a table. Hello, everyone. For God's sake, you stupid little man. Shut up, you vacant, pretentious tart. You vacant, self, whatever it is. You don't know Eric Disley. Let me tell you, she does not know Eric Disley. I know him. I am his sergeant. And let me tell you, Eric Disley is a twat. He's a half cock loser of, of a dickhead who knackers everything he does. I can't get his life into gear. And you, pet, are still not worthy to suck shit from the tread in his boots. All oh, right, get down, you drunk foul mouth. Oh, he's mad. There's Your son, Mr. and Mrs. Eric, were. He is a soldier. He has in his blood to look after whoever around him is getting shot to knackers. And he does it without that, without that much. Which is what, ladies and gentlemen, puts a pond life like Eric Disley so far up there, he can't even be seen by all the life-sucking, pointless, driveling shite down here like you. <clears throat> I would like to finish with a song. Roker Bridge, I must leave you. Though it breaks 
breaks my heart to go. Come on, you Rupert. I can hear old Durham calling at the front to fight the foe. Hello, Mr. Manager. You've come to throw me off. Don't try it. So, back up your troubles I always get. These mixed up pants. Where are you going? Buy that book on a drink. Waste of time podding all them grasses. Yeah, not really. You've not been arrested, you've never seen her. Yeah. Yeah, actually. Better get back to this wedding. Where is everyone? In the pub. We had to move the cars. They're allowed to stay ten minutes. Watch. We were still looking at them planes an hour, mate. So, what do you reckon, Mrs. Disney? Oh, shit. I love that. You know, we should go back and face some music. Don't want to face music on my wedding day, Mr. Disney. Let's face it tomorrow. Tonight, let's just dance to it. Ow! I feel good. I knew that I would now. It's me, innit? it? I've said some of it. Well, yeah, Lloydie, in a way, a long time ago, he said, Spockman, life, rule one, don't die with any funny bank. I never thought you would listen to what I said. Won't we? Your bank vault will be empty. Mine will be like bloody Tutankhamun's tomb. Ah, uh, I see. You can't go back trying back up for lost time now, though, you know. Yeah, well, I know that now, OK? I know that. I'm, I'm not young. I'm not exciting. I can't take me drink or survive a night in a club. God, I might as well sell my sports car, wait 20 years and marry a dinner lady. Ow! Baby, don't do me no wrong, but I feel... Did you see her go? Was it all right? Listen, when I was looking for something for her, uh, you know, kind of clearing out, you know, I just thought, probably is room if you fancied. I mean, look at it, there is a cupboard and that. If you, well, you know. What are you saying here, Mr. Gad? Are you saying move in? I mean, you don't have to. Hey, you can go back to Workington. It's just that I thought if you liked Rawker Bridge, like, then there is a cupboard in that. And some drawers. <laughs> Not a few drawers. Uh, oh, and, oh, yeah, a vanity mirror that makes more. Mm. Van vanity mirror. <laughs> Swivels. <laughs> is that it? Don't flash it about. Is that the only comfort my closest friend can give me at my time of the worst emotional crisis? Do you want to borrow me a copy of Mammoth Hooters? Look, don't fight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> my next one is one of my new cassette, which I've just had run off. It's a tribute to the genius of Audrey Hepburn, entitled Breakfast at Tiffany's, Lunch at Wang's. <laughs> Track one, get on the scene like a sex machine. <laughs> get up, get on up. Oh, dear God. What are you looking at me like that for? That's person who said they were my closest friend were imaginary. Yeah, well, don't flush it about. Spockman, get on the table! I can't believe that. Deezy, I can't dance. Oh, I wouldn't say that. You were pretty hot last night. Get on the scene. Like a sex machine. Get on up. Hey, aren't you? Oh, uh, Sorry. You're all right, Eric. Get used to it. What's happening in there? Hey, dancing on the tables in there, you know. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Sounds like they're ready for me then. <laughs> Congratulations, Mara. Oh. I will be getting you a present. Yeah, yeah, just, just don't. Let's just be 
Yeah, this is flaming open it, huh? Bridge Guardian, 1982. Local lads, River Rescue. 13 year old David Gadd was hailed by local police as a hero this week after helping rescue his friend Wayne Disley from the River Rook. Eh? Dramatic to Hodge. On one important day, a memento of another. Why do you keep all this crap? <laughs> it's crap to you, mate. It's history to me. Plus, you know, you learn from it. And that told me the greatest ever lesson about you is no matter what shit happens, somehow everything will turn out all right for Hodge. See, what it doesn't mention in that report of how you jumped in the water and heroically dragged me to the side without thought of your own safety is that you were the bastard who chucked me in in the first place. I didn't. You did, mate. You chucked me in and the police ended up giving your children a bravery award. They never. Oh, you got big rosette. A foul, big, purpley puce rosette with a red cross on it. Why would I chuck you in the river? We've been arguing about the lyrics to Muller Kintai. Because you wouldn't have it that the second line is mist rolling in from the sea. It's me strolling in. It's not. It's mist. It's Scotland, man. You can hear the ease, Eric. All right, what's he doing in the sea to be strolling in from it? Is the next line about having just set up shrimp nets? Would you just leave it with you? Can you pretty flash just because you can dance to oh, it? Then you must have got somebody else. I mean, Spock dances like a daddy long legs on a strip light. Yeah, oh, it's definitely the guy who was dancing at club earlier, like, like Jarvis Cocker. That's my bird. What are you doing with this tip? Never said that, did I? How many did you have? I'm not a bird. I'll side with him again, will you, Jen? Want to disappear off to the car park with him like you did last night and all? Well, actually, BJ, is a sod more created lover than you are? Have you any idea how erotic it is during foreplay to have someone trace the entire battle plan of the Franco-Prussian War over your breasts? Hey. Oh, oh you little bastard! Piss off! Don't you bloody go and... Listen, man, I'm really sorry about this, one. I've got to do this. Apparently, I'm his best mate, you know. Oh, student bashing. This takes me back. Oh, come on, let's not... Deez it, deez it! Come on, guys, guys, come on. Let's not have a scene between townies, students... Oh, who did that? Who hit him? That one with a naff haircut. Oh, he's got naff haircuts. Bloody ass, buddy! Oi! What are you doing? Me? I'm on my way home from covering this wedding for oh, Andy Shalom that failed the show. Oh, oh yes, yes! Oh, They've been wanting for ages to do something on urban unrest in rural Lancashire. That's it, love! Go on, get him! Get off me! Eric, man! Your wedding's gonna be in Lancashire living! <laughs> oh, God, I love this town! <laughs>